What's going on, it's your boy, Trey? And what can I change? So I really just wanted to make this quick little video because I had noticed that this one woman named Marianne, Marianne Williamson, Williamson was talking on the um, Piers Morgan show and it got pretty interesting. I just want y'all to hear it for yourself and then we'll talk about it. He was simply saying that he was busy trying to convince everybody that women clearly had penises. And uh, I was reflecting, you all know, I am a big fan of everybody studying maths to 18. But it, it, turns, it turns out that we need to focus on biology to 18. <laughs> So that was somebody speaking about, <clears throat> it was actually a leaked video. So this wasn't supposed to be public. And so this argument that Marianne is going to make right here is going to be talking about, can men, can men, women have penises, you know, and we're right back to having that same conversation every single day. Now understand that this woman is running for president and she's saying that she's trying to vow trans in trans panic. Here's my thing. This trans panic that they're even starting to talk about. What is that? Because we are not panicking about trans. Once again, they make up a small population, small population. We're not trying to end any trans panic. It's not like we're scared of trans people. I mean, they walk around. They're real people who have real struggles, who may struggle mentally. And some of them are doing it for attention. And some of them just want to do it for power because they want to be above everything. They have their own. F anyway. <laughs> so. There's no panic. The problem is, once again, once it got to our kids, it started becoming a problem. And not only that, people are just tired of them wielding so much power. Somebody comes out and says, I'm a woman. That means they can go to women's cells. They can go to women's bathroom. They can just pretty much erase women off the face of the earth. We're also supposed to be protecting our women. But when a man comes out and says they're a woman, we're supposed to just bow down and give them anything they want and be like, oh, it's all good. It's fine. <laughs> you can have it all. You can have it all it, to the point where we can't even answer the question, what is a woman? Let's keep going. So this has become a big thing, right? Um, along with the question, what is a woman? There's now And there you have it. If you now today, which is a crazy thing to even think about at all. If you cannot even ask the question, what is a woman? It's a problem. Now, a big debate where British political leaders have been asked about whether a woman can have a penis and they've given varying answers. Varying answers. Can a woman have a penis? Well, it depends. Depends on what? Like, to me, it's just, <laughs> it's almost insanity at this point. And it's crazy because what is a woman isn't even actually a biological question anymore. It's a political question. Isn't that crazy? I'm so sorry for the women who have to go through this because y'all's identity, I mean, y'all's identity, y'all's sex and everything doesn't matter anymore. If you say you're a woman, that's a political stance. That is a political thing you're taking because nobody's really asking what is a man because to be honest, not a whole lot of women want to become a man, like fully become a man because of what it comes with. You know, it comes with a different treatment. It comes with a different life that's not necessarily easier. And you can see that from people who have transitioned to becoming a man. Yet you can, you've heard their stories and how hard it can truly be in certain places. For, but to ask what is a woman now or to be a woman is a political. Are you on this side or that side? It's not even about y'all anymore. It's the same thing we did with the LGBT. The British Prime Minister says no. The Labour leader says 99% of women do not. And the Liberal Democrat leader, who he was referencing there, uh, says clearly women can have penises. On I never thought that becoming a Democrat would mean this right here. I hate it. Like, I used to remember Republicans and Democrats, to a degree, didn't necessarily like each other, but it wasn't like this, man. On the face of it, this might seem a strange debate to be having, but what are the answers? I mean, you're a presidential candidate. I want you, to, I want you guys to go ahead and say, what do you think she's going to say? What do you think she's going to say? Do you think she's going to say... Now, remember, I'm pretty sure she's running for a Democrat, okay, the Democratic side of the party because she wants to take over you, you'll see um but 
In fact, yeah. So, what do y'all think she's going to say? Do you think she's going to say a woman is a biological adult female? Or what, what do you think is going to be the answer? Because this is crazy how people can't give a, either give a straight answer or give an answer that doesn't get them canceled. Well, uh, in the United States, I think we are obviously going through... In the United States, that's a terrible way to start. ...a cultural transformation. People are getting more comfortable with the notion of gender fluidity, non-binary sexuality. For me, it's an issue of... Who's freedom. getting comfortable with that? See, they try to say these kind of things as if it's true. I don't think anybody's getting okay with gender fluidity because, one, it's too confusing. Because gender fluidity means that any point at any time you could be whatever you want when it benefits you. You know what I'm saying? When you're going to prison, oh, it's going to benefit you now to be a female. Because once men find out what you've done to certain people, oh, it's over for you, buddy. So it's going to be way beneficial for you to go to a place where you can overpower the majority of the people in there. Right? Yeah, you can get shanked and all that, but still, you still have power. Right? So I, I don't like gender fluidity. I don't think anybody's okay with that. Because most people have to be, Listen, and I don't like to make things anecdotal, but you go around in your city and talk about gender fluidity. Do you think people are comfortable with it? Or you think people either just don't care because they got their own lives? Or do you think it's just like they just want to they just they just don't want to have to deal with it. So they'll say whatever. Freedom. People get to be whoever they want to be, do whatever they want to do. If it doesn't. Hurt. Look at that. They get to do whatever they want to be, be whoever they want to be. Let's hear that again. Of women do not. And the Liberal Democrats on, on answers. I mean, you're a president. Transformation. People are getting more comfortable with the notion of gender fluidity, non-binary sexuality. For me, it's an issue of freedom. People get to be whoever they want to be, do whatever they want to do, if it doesn't hurt anyone else. That's not true. Because when it comes to hurting the children, they still don't care. When a child can be harmed, or an adult can be harmed by having surgery, have infections, deal with the lifelong implications and complications that come with that for the rest of their life. They still don't care. So I don't believe this whole, well, we're not hurting anybody, bull crap, because you guys do it all the time. All the time. You don't care about anybody else but your agenda. And it is for stupid votes. And it's... Uh, to me, we have to follow a North Star in our society. That North Star is the idea that all people are created equal. If you talk to me about a trans American... We're not all created equal. We're all created. We're all human beings, but we're not all equal. It'll just never be that way. And that is another poor argument. We're not all equal. We're different. We all have strengths. We all have weaknesses in certain areas of our lives. But you're trying to make it seem as if... It's not okay to accept who you truly are. That's so frustrating to me because this is what our society has become. And I understand we all play a role. I play a role. You played a role because we kept our mouth shut for a while. I'll be honest. I kept my mouth shut. I was always against it, but I, I never said anything because we all just didn't think it would get this far. And we should have at least spoke up. I'm not saying we could have should have came out and said pitchfork and pitchforks and fires and but we could have came out and said hey let's do a little bit of talking but we all decided to turn our face away and be like uh just let them do what they want to bad idea american the part that matters to me is the word american and so but what is a woman to you uh, listen it's whatever at this point in in somebody's culture in an american culture certainly kind of whatever anyone says that it is yeah, but it can't... I know... women i'm so sorry I'm so sorry. Y'all are pretty much, y'all aren't dead because most people don't believe this nonsense, but it's not about most people anymore. Just be honest. It's about who holds the power. If these people continue to get power, it's over, man. I don't think that'll be the case. And I think we'll always stand up and fight, but it's just going to be harder and harder for us to keep women important, y'all have become birthing persons. Because even, and I just said earlier, I don't think most people believe this nonsense, but people do believe in cancel ship. Even, it's crazy. Because people who aren't even famous, people who are just working at their grocery store, if you walk up to them and say, what is a woman? 
they'll give you all these questions like they're going to get canceled. It's like you're not even famous. People are that scared that people on the Internet are going to attack them, even if they don't even have social media like that. They have two. They have two people following them. They're still afraid those two people will cancel them. It's like we're so scared of what they're going to say to us. You can't be that. You can't live your life like that, because once they get you guys scared, once they get y'all scared, that's all they need. It only takes a small bit of fear for everything to flip. No, I it was, can't be this. Yes, so it absolutely can. If people you want say to until it hurts people, way. but if anyone can oh, put their oh. hand up and say they're a woman, we have a situation we had recently where the leader of the Scottish, uh, of Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon, of the Scottish National Party, she had to resign after putting a biological male rapist into a woman's prison. That's what we just said. A rapist into a women's prison. They don't care about y'all. I'm sorry to let y'all know that, but they... Well, I'm sure y'all know that, but they don't really care about y'all. And who? when I say they, I mean people who are trying to gain complete power over the people of America. Whoever that may be, okay? You make that decision yourself. <laughs> but the point is, at the end of the day, they want to erase women and they want our children. Don't you think that's crazy? It used to be protect the women and children. Now it's let's get let's not protect the women. Let's put rapists in their cells, in their prisons. Let's have naked men in their locker rooms. Let's have the kids transition and let's have the let's manipulate the kids as much as we can at public schools. It's not protect the women and children. Y'all are the main target. And you know, us men can talk up about this all talk about this all the time. But we are seeing great women stand up and also speak about this. And they're the ones who are going to make the biggest change because y'all, honestly, y'all the ones the most affected because if men sit back and say nothing, that means these transgendered women will take over. If that was, that's why you can't have, I don't want to get too far off, but the reason, you know, when we talk about trans sports and all that, and they say, make their own category, that category would be ran by men. It'd be a trans, it would just be trans women dominating in that field. So you would have a man's league, pretty much another man's league, and a women's league, right? If they if they want to do the whole three category thing. And people don't accept that. You know why? Because trans women and that transgender and that whole movement right there, they don't want that life. They want whatever they want to have. If they want it, you're going to give it to them. Listen, you got women and you got women who are running for president saying, I don't know what a woman is. I am a woman myself, but I am pretty much not real. I'm imaginary. I just, you know, if you raise your hand and say I'm a woman, that that makes you a woman. Not all the struggles, not all the stuff women have to go through. None of that matters at this point. All it's about is raise your hand. I'm a woman. So there is obviously damage there from self-identity, isn't there? Well, certainly, the, yeah, but I think the issue there was rapists, not the issue of this. That's the main point. He was a rapist. That's the problem. We're not even acknowledging people who do stuff like that to people. We're not acknowledging the evil that happens to people. We just walk right over it. Don't even care. You said, I, I think, I mean, I think the problem was, though, that is that he did terrible thing to women. I think that was the... Duh! That's the prop. That's why we're mentioning it. Because it was a huge problem. You're just walking over it like... Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to say... Sexual... Uh, what is the, the fact she felt that... She that. felt that this male rapist who identified as a woman at his trial... Yeah, that would be hard. Right? Me. Simply to get into a woman's yeah. prison. Yeah. That's wrong, right? Yeah. Because, well, yes, but then that's... that's <laughs> once you're talking about something like rape, then obviously it becomes relevant. It do, It's not relevant. What about to, sport? Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't for that, it wouldn't be relevant. Putting a man in a women's prison is always relevant. How is that not always relevant? Because anytime you put a man in a women's prison and devoid him of, let's be honest, sex, what's that man going to do at some point? A guy who's in prison, who is possibly sexually confused if really mentally ill so you're gonna put a mentally ill person in a women's prison and think it's just gonna be shucking and jiving no <laughs> it's not gonna go great as we saw with the other man who got put in prison who was getting 
all these women pregnant and was doing all these terrible things to women. It doesn't matter at the end of the... I mean, it just... Well, on sports, I do think we need to protect girls who were born as girls. If they are in a situation where somebody, obviously because of the size of their of their muscles and of their body, gives them an... But that's all biological. Yeah, that's biological. So at what point... Because at what point do you separate a genetically gifted female woman who just happens to be genetically more gifted than the other girls? When do you draw the line between genetically gifted females and men? You just said muscles and size. There's going to be women that are bigger than other women. There's women who are six seven. Are we to say, well, no, they can't play basketball. Clearly, they're genetically gifted and better. Or are we just going to say, well, she's a woman. That's all that matters. That is the, that's life. Or are we going to start saying, well, if a guy, what if a guy is six two, weighs less than a girl who's six seven, maybe probably not weaker, but doesn't have as many bulging muscles or anything. Are we, what are we going to say? Oh, because he's actually weaker or smaller than her. That's going to be okay. You've got to have a fine line. This can't be black. This can't be a gray area. It can't. Logical names. <clears throat> well, yes, that's sort of my point. So you would but... stop. Well, hang on. Just to clarify that, you would stop biological males competing against biological females. Unless it can be proven, there are some situations where somebody, let's say, they were born as a man, but they're a small man, right? What did I just say? What did I just say? What if the guy happens to be small? And it can be proven through hormone testing, through muscle testing, and so forth, that there is no biological advantage. But, you know, the other... That, that, that's a slippery slope, because that's not going to work. How are you going to test that? So you... Or are you going to compare the, the smallest dude to the strongest woman in the class? That's a bad problem. Because what if I just decide, and hear me out, what if I decide I want to go to a women's sport, but what I'll do is get myself as weak as possible. I'll get as weak as I can. And as soon as they say, okay, you can be with the girls, I start hitting the gym, start get doing everything I can to get my, get my strength, get stronger, and then I'm just going to dominate. People, you, you don't think people think that way, but they do. They really do, especially when they're going after our kids so young. There's going to be kids who are like, well, let me just bide my time. And then the second they say, I'm a girl or I can compete, boom, I'm going to blow up. There I spoke at Cambridge University. And I noticed when I went into the area where the bathrooms were that it said, use whatever bathroom you're more comfortable with. Mm. And I thought, oh, my God, it could be that easy. So I think no. everybody needs to lighten up on this issue. Because... Well, it's fine. It's, it's hard to lighten up if you are, say, a female Olympic athlete and you're losing out on your yeah. place. Well, that's Because a biological I... male is sick. Yo, which bathroom makes you more comfortable? What, what is a woman going to say? What is a woman going to do? She's going to be scared for her life as she walks in and sees three guys standing in there. Ready. Lock the door right behind her. I don't, I'm not saying that men do that on average, but I'm saying somebody who's deluded enough to go into a women's bathroom, there's obviously something going on in their mind. If they truly believe that, either they have bad intentions or there's something going on in their mind. I just don't see any reason a man would go into a woman's bathroom for any reason except for to see women or because there has been something mentally wrong with them. And then both of them can be a dangerous situation. Six foot three inches and built like an outhouse decides to take your slot and by think... saying, hey, I'm a woman, which goes back to your initial thing that you should all be what you want to be. Well, sure, I want to be, you know, I want to be a movie star, but I'm not. <laughs> There's a reality check. But you, if you're talking about specific instances, such as sports, such as where somebody... Okay. She pretty much made a point. You can go watch the rest of this. I just wanted to give these little bitty clips and let you guys know how I'm feeling. Let me know what you think, man. Do you really truly believe that a woman can just be whatever they raise their hand? And you can see that this person is trying to beat so far around the bush that they can't even get a clear answer. They're so scared because she knows the second she comes out and says, no, I can't do that. All her power is gone. Nope. Nobody on the Democratic side is going to want to vote for her, or at least the vast majority of them from what everybody says. So do you think people are just scared or what's going on? Why do we have so many presidential candidates afraid to just say what is true? Are we supposed to talk about what is true? Or are we supposed to live in complete delusion? Y'all let me know. I love y'all. Have a great day. Peace.